The world, in respect to America's global naval presence, is rapidly changing. Today, a potential enemy may appear either as a surface or air threat. The threat could look like this, a runabout filled with explosives on a suicide mission. Or this, a small commercial airplane piloted by a terrorist. Or this, a well-armed patrol boat carrying the flag of a hostile nation. For a U.S. Navy ship, a truly bewildering myriad of threats. But now, there is a new weapon system that has the potential to meet the U.S. Navy's requirements for an advanced minor caliber gun system to counter these various threats. Sea Vulcan 25 is a new lightweight 25mm gun mount developed by General Electric's Armament Systems Department. Weighing less than 3,000 pounds fully loaded, the Sea Vulcan 25 system comprises the 25mm 5-barrel GAU-12U Gatling gun, a high-performance lightweight electric turret, and a below-deck linkless feed system. The GAU-12U has a reliability record of over 100,000 mean rounds between failures, typical of Gatling-type weapons, and many times greater than any comparable single-barrel gun. Over 100 of these guns have been produced by GE since 1982 for application on the Marine Corps AV-8B aircraft. The GAU-12U fires the full family of 25mm M790 series percussion primed ammunition, which is hero safe. For the Sea Vulcan 25 system, the GAU-12U fires at two predetermined rates of fire ranging from 750 to 2,000 shots per minute. The Sea Vulcan 25 turret is built up on a one-piece aluminum casting, which secures both the train and elevation bearings. This design also offers much better gun accessibility than comparable naval gun mounts, resulting in easier maintenance. Sea Vulcan 25 has a layered helical ready service magazine with feed performance unaffected by the system's attitude. This arrangement ensures proper feeding regardless of ship's attitude due to sea state conditions. This magazine can store 540 rounds of ready ammunition, enough for over 18 one-second bursts. Loading is accomplished below deck, protected from the environment and hostile fire and can be accomplished by two men in less than 10 minutes. Sea Vulcan 25 can operate independently of ship's power, an invaluable capability if the ship is dead in the water. The gun and ammunition system are powered by a 3,000 PSI pneumatic drive, and the turret drive motors are driven by two 12-volt lead-acid batteries. Sea Vulcan 25 can be configured as a hybrid gun missile weapon system with only minor modification. This hybrid concept was pioneered by GE and has been extensively tested in U.S. Army, Air Force and Marine Corps tests. In the spring of 1987, a feasibility demonstration of Sea Vulcan 25 was conducted for the Navy Sea Systems Command by the Naval Surface Weapon Center, Dahlgren, Virginia. Sea Vulcan 25 was installed aboard the SES 200, a 159-foot, 205-ton surface effect ship based at the Naval Air Test Center, Patuxent River, Maryland. 
Directing Sea Vulcan 25 for this demonstration were three sighting and control devices. The U.S. Navy pedestal-mounted Mark 24 Target Designation Transmitter, or TDT, an unstabilized optical sighting system equipped with a 7 by 50 binocular for acquiring and tracking the target. Lynx, a self-contained pedestal-mounted 8-power optical sight stabilized in elevation and manufactured by CSEE of France. And Lihod, furnished by Magnavox Signal, a lightweight infrared director with laser rangefinder. The Liod received acquisition signals from the Mark 24 TDT or the Lynx and then provided appropriate gun orders. Operating out of its headquarters at Patuxent River Naval Air Test Center, Maryland, the 200 used the Chesapeake Bay firing ranges to conduct the surface target gunnery operations. Two targets were utilized, stationary 16 by 16 foot target panels and moving 8 foot square target panels towed by radio control SEPTAR boats. For the demonstration, the Lynx and the Mark 24 TDT were manned by U.S. Navy gunner's mates. All firing passes were conducted while the SES 200 was on cushion and moving at 25 knots in sea states of zero to two. Surface firings were conducted over a five-week period during April of 1987. A total of 129 one-second burst firing runs were made. 3,622 rounds were expended. Thank you. 